everyone, Cindy here with Grome Sewing Machine Company in San Antonio, Texas and Universal City, Texas. So today is our quick fix video and I have something special for all you FAF owners out there. Um, and I'm sure that this will apply to many other thread cutters in the industry. So let me show you how to take care of this issue at home. What is the issue? Well, you're sewing right along or embroidering and you hit your thread cutter and what happens? doesn't cut your thread. Let me show you how to fix that very easily at home. So follow me to the sewing machine and let me show you how easy that is. Okay, so here we are at the machine and what I want you to look at is this area right in here. And as you can see, I've got a thread stuck inside this little piece, right? Well, luckily for me, that piece is pretty easy to get out. And those of you that already know how to do this will get your tweezers, right? And you generally pull it out. But what happens a lot of times is that that doesn't necessarily take care of the issue, right? You'll start sewing again and then you go to cut and it's all hung up again. So what you need to do at home is very carefully, you see this, this piece right here? This is what we call the fetcher. That actually moves out. And I'll show you here real quick. If I engage cut, you see it move out and then come back. Well, what it goes back to is a little bitty blade, right? So let me move this out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm carefully gonna take just a little baby thin screwdriver like this, and I'm going to push it to the right gently because you don't want to break it. It does run on its own little gear and motor. So you want to be very careful. So I've got it out of the way. And now you can see this little piece right here, right? This is your knife. If you lift this knife up, come kind of like this, right? More times than not, you're gonna find your thread pieces. This machine doesn't have any because it's brand new, but you're gonna find a wad of thread stuck back in here on this little felt. Remove your thread, and then if you want, you can pull this blade straight out. You see that little pin right there? And uh, we do sell these pieces and they do go uh, dull. So if you've cleaned out that whole area and it's still not cutting, then you need a, a whole new one of these little pieces. And then when you've cleaned it out, you're gonna take this, I'm on, the back, I'm on the front side here so I can't see, but there's that little bitty hole, right? And then you're just gonna push it in there and lay it back down. At this point, do not force your fetcher back to the left side. All you have to do is touch your thread cutter and it will go back all by itself and put itself in that home position. You see how there's a little gap there? So you wanna make sure that you get your knife in there correctly because if you don't, once the fetcher goes back, you can break that piece under there, okay? But it's very simple. Don't be afraid to try it. And uh, for those of you that don't have this style of cutter, you still have a blade up in this area. Don't be afraid to look in that area and pull out all your little fuzzes and pieces of thread because that will make a difference in how your machine cuts. All right, everyone. Well, I hope that this little quick fix video has helped you somehow. Um, if you get stuck on something, just give us a call because we can help you over the phone pretty easily. Um, if you're having some serious issues, then drop it off and we'll take care of it for you. So make sure that you like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click that little notification button. So the next time we have a quick fix video for you or any other video for that matter, you will be notified. Until next time, guys. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.